Hi, I'm Dennis Hansen, the designer, builder, and tester for Woody Logic Surfboards. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I make my cradle for the seven foot fun board. Before I start working in the shop, I thought it'd be fun to go down, check the waves, just do a little surf check. So here we are at the beach. Let's take a look. Had a little swell run in the last few days, but unfortunately it's been a strong onshore wind, which uh, doesn't really help the form. got the Jehovah Witnesses down here this morning. They're kind of a usual crowd. Some pretty good sized waves out there today. Waiting for the wind to turn around and clean it up. I think tomorrow's going to be the day. Back in the shop. I'm going to do the layout now for my cradle and some people might wonder um, why do I use a cradle instead of a, a rocker table and simple answer is it's easier for me it's a lot simpler to set up I can customize it exactly the way I want it to be nothing wrong with rocker um, tables if that's what you that's the way you uh, do your boards and that that works too for people that are new to this the reason you do this is so you don't you can't just start putting the frame together um, and not have it under weight or have it under some kind of pressure and otherwise you're going to get a twist so that's why I beat, build the cradle um, works for me and I'm going to run you through the steps on that all right I've got my template outline that I used for gluing up the bottom panel I've also got my working drawing and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer the rib locations from the working drawing onto the template, the outline template and that would tell me where I need to put, where I need to build it up and like here this is going to be R13 I need to build it up two inches so I'll draw a line here, I'll bring this down, and build it up two inches. Um, come back down here, this would be R12, and that needs to be an inch and a half. So I'll, I'll draw the line down here, and it's going to be an inch and a half high. I always work from the reference line. This is the reference line, if you remember. That's what you use to determine how much rocker there is. And I work outward, and in this case, I'll be working outward from R6. This board really doesn't have a uh, flat spot at all. It's a continuous curve rocker. And um, so what I'll do is I'll, of course there's not gonna be anything here, but there'll be something here at R5. There's gonna be a very little, little rise in the rocker. And so there'd just be a, a thin piece of wood that I'll put here. Also, I'm always working from the center. So that leading edge is going to be going this way when I'm going to the nose. And from the tail, say R7, it's got a sixteenth of an inch rise. That would be going from that way. So the rib is sit right on it.
I've located where all my risers need to go on the template. I have my drawing, so I need I know how high they the risers need to be. I just need to match it up with each rib location. So I'm ready to start putting down all my risers. So I've got my cradle built, put the copy board on it just to make sure that I'm in about where I want to be. And it matches the rocker pretty well. That's kind of your final check. I'm happy with that. The cradle's built. Next step will be lofting the frame, and I'll cover that next week. Thanks for joining me, and please subscribe or leave me a like.